is going to measure roughly 48 inches across. It'll be 7 inches high, 10 and a half inches deep. Ignore this. This says 9 and a half, but when you account for the front and the back covers, it'll measure 10 and a half inches deep. I've excluded an inch from the bottom, which would leave 6 inches. 6 inches will be divided equally among the lower baffle top cover and the two boards here that'll help guide the airflow out so again speaker airflow in and around and down so like i said i won't be speaking throughout this video it'll be self-explanatory if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below i'll do my best to address them for now just enjoy the video guys I want to pause right now real quickly to show you what this thing is gonna look like internally so this is the side this is the top and then this is the bottom okay now we do have that one inch overhang here and at the bottom it goes like so here if I zoom out a bit you can get a sense of what it's gonna look like when it's all put together This has sat here overnight. Time to remove the clamps and drill out the hole for the speaker. This is the proper cutout size. Already nailed in. A little nail there. As you can see, that will be used for my router plate. Uh, again, find the center of your point. Find the exact measurement from the point. Um, out to the router. Essentially what it does, it helps you make perfect circles. I got some nasty edges here. But that doesn't matter because I'm going to take this router bit and I'm going to run my router around the entire edge. And this bearing here is going to ride on the perfect circle inside. All right, so up next, we got to round over these edges, which is... <clears throat> which is these edges right here this one and this one and this one actually so all three edges we're gonna round them over so that the airflow will flow nice and smoothly we're gonna round it over with one eighth inch uh, round over bit okay we now have all our pieces cut down to the exact size that we need. Next up is assembly.
All right, I got all the 45s in there. Again, this is the bottom baffle. Uh, no 45s here. The other 45s are here and here and here. The last ones, or the very last one, also got it here and here. The very last one is gonna go up on this corner, but that's not until I join the very top, which we're going to do next. As you can see, the screw holes are all patched up and sanded down. So up next is the cutout for the connector. I will be painting this box. As you can see, I will not be wrapping it. Your voice, Carol? 
Just wired up, guys. All right, folks, let's do a quick sound test, sound check, whatever you want to call it. This is what it looks like. Check it out from this side. This is what it looks like from this side. Connectors, you can't see any speaker. Where? Here we go. The port is over on the other side. 